she could see him standing there turn to say hello wouldn't look him in the eye raven and i went to high school together and our old high school teacher justin owns and runs this place and uh, owns and now you run this place <laughs> well i i help you know yeah um and it's just got a bunch of his old gear that he uh, he isn't using anymore, and uh, so we just use it as kind of a home base of operations and and record other bands here and just uh, come and hang out and play the piano. Yeah. The way that we started as a band was not a like planned thing. We just kind of uh, Bree and I one night um, we both we both love Gillian Welch, this one particular songwriter, and uh, we both sort of just started. I started playing through the songs and she started singing and it right away just like completely fit together as if we'd been singing together forever and it was like mm -hmm. okay I guess we're a band now and Como, Como can play like pretty much every instrument there is and Bri and I can like can manage um, and so <laughs> Como came in and really just like added exactly what we what we needed to the songs and it just just it just worked and suddenly mm -hmm. we were a band. Uh, I mean, after we put it out in 2010, we didn't really know anything about how to promote an album. So now that we've kind of figured out a little more of that, uh, our release date meant that we couldn't, we weren't eligible for awards or all this stuff. Uh, so the album's the same. We just mm -hmm. kind of changed something about the artwork. We so just it's fixed a the artwork. Yeah. And like the the main the main thing is that we released it. We we pressed the album because we had a deadline. We, we were going to the Winnipeg Folk Festival and we didn't have any hard copies and we needed to have hard copies to sell. And so we we're like, okay, we'll just we scrambled Como and I did it in one night. We like yeah. stayed up and did arts and crafts all night and uh, finished it and got got it pressed and then had this little album release party just in my living room and crammed everyone in there and uh, and kind of released it to our friends and family. And they bought lots of lots of copies, but really it was the kind of release that like they probably would have bought them anyways. Like even if it wasn't good, because yeah. it's like oh, it's my daughter's CD or like <laughs> my my best friend's CD. Like sure, I'll buy a copy. And like we didn't really release it to the public. Like we didn't yeah. we didn't send it to anyone. We didn't like do any kind of press. Like we didn't you know push it out there. And uh, so this we re-released it, and we're really we're doing the work now. The songwriting is like half and half. So I write and Bree writes as well. And uh, there are definitely some, uh, Brie wrote some, some serious, uh, you know, getting through things, mm -hmm. those kinds of songs. And uh, I, I went a little bit more, I, for a long time, I, I didn't like to write about myself. I, I wrote story songs and I kind of, um, because I was like, I can't write about like, what's going on in my life. Everyone, the, <laughs> everyone who comes to my shows, those are the people. They're going to be, they're going to be there. They're going to know exactly what's going on. Um, but it's kind of. I don't know, songwriting, I've found at least in the last, I've like really changed my tune in the last uh, three or four months and uh, I've started writing about myself and there's a lot of like new stuff for both of us and um, I don't know, that's, I'm braver now, like I'm okay with it. I'm okay that the people are in the room, they know what it's about, but it's, this is who I am, so. Uh, we went with a girl named Alana Gurr, mm -hmm. who has a great band and uh, she's based out of Guelph and uh, it was great. Yeah. We met a lot of musicians. Uh, it was London, Hamilton, and Guelph, and um, and Toronto. And Toronto, yeah. yeah and yeah. Um, yeah, we met lots of musicians, and it's kind of like that's the thing that you have to do in your band. You have to connect with other communities just outside of your own, because you can play, you can be a Toronto band for years and years. Mm -hmm. You want to like step beyond that. So it was really nice to to do that, and we've made some some friends that I think we're probably going to end up playing with, and they'll they'll come back to Toronto and play with us, and you know. Uh, our other singer Bree lives in Montreal. Um, we don't play that much. Like mm. it's kind of like two, three shows a year. The last like little while, and mm -hmm. um, it's I mean, which is good because when we have a show, lots of people, like people who are really excited yeah, to we come were out. Getting used to like you know crowds of a hundred people. Yeah. And uh, but only because we hadn't given them anything for like months and yeah. months and months. So really, it's 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 really nice that there's that feedback, and it's it's kind of encouraging that. You know, other people want us to keep doing this because we want to keep doing it yeah. too. Yeah. Uh, we're playing at uh, Canadian Music Week uh, on the Pandemonium Showcase, which is an artist management company and they're friends of ours, uh, which is at, uh, I think it's called Chehoski. It's near Trinity Bellwoods on Queen Street. No one really knows and, how to uh, pronounce it, but. And 
Yeah, we're playing there March 23rd at 9 o'clock. And um, after that, we're not playing for about a month, but then we're playing the Cameron House every Wednesday at 10 o'clock in the month of May. Mm -hmm. And then uh, we're going out on an East Coast tour right after that. Mm -hmm. Well, uh, we were just talking about this today. A couple years ago, I think there was an SNL skit called Dear Sister. So if you Google our band, uh, it doesn't come up. That and comes you up. have to you have to be very specific, like Dear Sister Band Toronto, or Dear and Sister Bandcamp works, or Dear Sister oh yeah. Music works. Oh yeah, so we works. we have a uh, what's work. called a Bandcamp website, which is a really cool website, uh, and any band can sign up and upload their music, and you can buy it off there. So it's kind of like iTunes, but they it's, don't take a percentage. No, they not do. as much yeah. as iTunes. iTunes takes like thirty, I think. I don't know. Bandcamp takes. But like whatever a it is, it's not like that. iTunes where you have to go through something. Uh, and it's all high quality, and you can stream the entire album there. Uh, it's a great before website. Before you it's listen really, to it, yeah. Uh, and then we have, you know, your uh, MySpace and a Facebook page, and uh, I think there's a few other things that I signed up for and never <laughs> got around to updating. Uh, there's a Twitter account that uh, doesn't have a picture and has no tweets. Uh, but <laughs> we'll if, get on that tomorrow. If a few people uh, followed it, then we <laughs> might have be... someone to say something. <laughs> right. To, you right. Know. Her skirt is torn, and her voice is worn out, solid stain.